Hi Libra, welcome to your general love reading for the first half of May 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and it is a general reading so it's not going to be for everybody's situation. But of course if you would like more specific details you can book a personal reading with me and you can find all that information in the description box. Also the rules can be reversed in this reading because it's a general reading. Okay, Libra, let's see what is going on with you first half of May 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, let's see. For this situation here, we have first card out of the Seven of Cups crossed by the Five of Swords. Mm, okay, so there's confusion concerning something that may have been deceitful, may have been hurtful. Um, I feel like maybe somebody is not seeing the situation very, very clearly here um, or just not really understanding why there was this deceit or this betrayal or whatever whatever this is about so we'll see more and we clarify um for your energy we have the three of cups the ace of wands and the ace of pentacles okay so you're coming from a space where things felt like they were okay um, or that you felt like you were okay either with this person or just you know your with your interactions just with other people um, maybe feeling more social feeling a little bit I don't know flirty even for some of you um, and it's like you're in this space now where you want to bring something back um, which is confusing to me at the moment, but that's okay. We'll see. Because either that or, or you're torn between bringing something back and then, or looking in a completely new direction. All right, let's see what's going on with them and that will clear up when we clarify. All right, so for them we have the King of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Two of Wands. Okay, so this is obviously somebody who does have a lot of love and a lot of emotions for you. Um, but there seems to be some kind of, um, again, I'm getting this betrayal. So I don't know who betrayed who here. Uh, and again, the rules can be reversed anyway, okay? There are also a lot of cross watchers. Um, so it could go either way. Um, but this person is definitely feeling the pain of this coming to an end or there's a fear of this coming to an end this connection with you there's a lot of thinking here a lot of thinking about what to do for this person um, let's see the potential outcome we have the high priestess hmm. I feel like somebody's keeping a little bit quiet here again not sure who. Let's see. Let's clarify. So let's see the Seven of Cups with the Five of Swords. The Six of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. Okay. So somebody is holding on to ego. I feel like whatever their reaction is, and I don't, again, I don't know if this is you or them. Um, there's a little bit of ego involved here and a little bit of resistance. And I feel like the reason why this person is being this way is because there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of fear that, you know, whatever it is that has happened, that it's like there's no, almost like there's no fixing it, feeling like it's very difficult to fix this, feeling like it's very difficult to, um, 
to win. So, I mean, and it could be either way. I, I, like, if you're the one who feels like you've been betrayed, you might feel like, you know what, there is no way to fix this. Like, I don't know if I can ever trust this again. And it could even be that you, that you might even be, for some of you, okay, this isn't going to be for all of you, you might be overanalyzing it a little bit, or maybe it's not exactly as you think it is. Um... Hmm. And for the other person, it, you know, they're, they're feeling like they don't know how to fix it either. Let's see the Three of Cups for you. We have the Sun and the Lovers. Well, that's beautiful. I So, yeah, it does feel like, you know, if it's in terms of this person that very recently, okay, and again, time is relevant, so this might actually be current for some of you, or this might be recent past for some of you, things seemed great, you know, things, it felt like you had made up, like everything was going well and beautifully, and there's love, and, you know, we've reconnected, and, you know, or you're just feeling this way about, about yourself, okay, um, but things felt really, really good. Um, this is also Leo's energy as well as Gemini, so some of you might be dealing with one of those signs. Let's see the Ace of Wands. The Fool and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, it's like, I don't know what, again, there, in the current time though, at least when, for when this reading is taking place, there is some kind of a betrayal here um, that has left you confused, but at the same time, it's like you still, you still want this. That's why I was confused before. Um, but I feel like, you know, you still, this is a connection you still want. And you would still want to be able to find a solution or you would want to be able to trust this if it's you that, that is the one who has been betrayed. Um, I feel like you just want things to start from scratch. You want things to start from the beginning with the new, new premises, new baselines, you know, new boundaries or, or even rules um, kind of a thing. Just have to have like new standards, but you do want this to work out. Let's see the Ace of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Yeah. You're willing to invest. I feel like you're willing to invest as long as the other person is also willing to invest. Um, again, you, you're wanting this to be fresh. You want to start over from the beginning in a very practical and organized way to put things in their right place and move forward from there. So let's see the other person. Let's see if they're feeling the same here. I mean, they definitely have love. But let's see. King of Cups for the other person, please. And we have the Knight of Cups and the Hierophant. Okay, so Taurus energy also showing up. Um, yeah. I mean, this is coinciding during the time where, you know, you felt like things were going well. They felt like things were going well also. Um, I feel like this person, you know, really wanted to offer love to you and, and commitment, basically. Um, this person feels very, very deeply for you. It's not just that they have, you know, um, superficial emotions or that they just like you. No, this person really, really takes you seriously even if it doesn't appear that way i have no idea what this betrayal might be but again i feel like it's okay um if if you're dealing with somebody that you know betrayed you in a very painful hurtful selfish even narcissistic type of a way this reading might not be for you that's not what this is about okay so i just want to make sure that that's clear i would never suggest for anybody 
to, <laughs> you know, consider going back to a toxic situation that where there is no participation from the other side to make a shift or a change, okay? So I'm definitely not saying that. Let's see. Let's see the Ten of Swords. I feel like for this particular um, situation here, it's that this this betrayal may have been something minor, something small. It feels more of like maybe even um, a miscommunication possibly or just something because something is not clear about that. I feel like there might be a little bit like like whoever's on the other side of it might not be viewing it very, very clearly. Okay. Let's see the Ten of Swords. We have the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Yeah, this person wants to work with you. This person wants to collaborate with you in order to bring stability to this. I just don't know how capable they are during this time period because they're in this Ten of Swords energy because I feel like they might be um, kind of sulking in, in whatever it is that has happened. But they definitely, definitely want to. Let's see the Two of Wands. Three of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like they're they're feeling pain here. So they're either feeling pain because maybe you were the one who did this betrayal for some of you, okay? Um, or they're feeling the pain because they're the ones who betrayed, okay? Either way, this other person is feeling is feeling a lot of pain here. Um, they're wanting to make things right. They want to come up with some kind of a plan. And I do feel like they might be feeling like they're not sure how much you're going to participate. So it's interesting because I feel like, you know, you're willing. I see you being willing. I see them being willing. But I feel like the two of you just aren't really sure how willing the other is. So it's kind of like the same for both of you here. And so I feel like this is one of the reasons why this person might be holding back, almost like they're waiting, waiting on you. So let's see the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here for the potential outcome? <laughs> the Five of Swords again. The Emperor and the Ten of Swords again. What is going on here, Libra? Okay, this is the message here. This is not... This is not written in stone. This is not what's written in stone. This is the guidance here. This is kind of like a precaution that whatever this Five of Swords is, whatever that betrayal is or that pain or whoever feels betrayed in some way needs to speak up. Because what I see here for the potential outcome, which is a precaution, is that somebody's holding back and not expressing that. Someone is not expressing themselves concerning that Five of Swords. So whoever that is, you know, speaking up like this emperor, right, taking control, speaking up as this emperor is what is going to help resolve this situation. Otherwise, there's just going to be more pain. Ten of Swords. So, and I know, you know, if it's the other person, there's not much that you can do about it, probably. Um, but I feel like whoever is watching this video, this message is for you. Um, even if you're, if you're on the receiving end of the betrayal, it still needs to be discussed, your perspective, because in that way it can possibly help to clear things up here. And again, I don't feel like this is some major betrayal. If, if you know that it was a major betrayal in your situation, again, this reading might not be for you, okay? I'm getting that this is something that was a little bit confusing, okay? That, you know, the, it wasn't exactly what, you know, the other person thinks it is. So, yeah, just take this if it resonates. If it doesn't, that's okay. 
Libra. I feel like your readings have been a little complicated lately, so there must be a lot going on for you. Ooh, all right, let's see. If this did resonate, the final message for you is the full moon in Aquarius. Show the world the real you. Yeah, be honest about what you want and how you feel. All right, Libra, those are your messages. I thank you so much for watching. Much love.